This is Nate from Geezer Skate, and I'm here with our good friend Eric Jump Rope Coons. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the middle name, man. That's it. <laughs> Seriously though, Eric J. Coons here from Dallas Skate Spots, which you guys got to check out. We're gonna provide a link down below for you guys to subscribe to this channel. This guy is going far. He's gonna be bigger than anything before too long. So, you gotta follow Thanks, him. Man. In this episode, we're gonna take Eric, who is a completely new school skater, if you will. Uh, and put him on an old school board and see what he can do with that. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know how, if it's gonna go well, but we're gonna see how it goes. So Eric, let's let's just uh, tell them a little quick uh, what your new school bona fides are. So when did you start skating? Okay, so I started skating back in 2003, right after giving up rollerblading. All right, and tell me, have you uh, ridden a board wider than eight inches? Maybe to 8.2, but not much past that. One time I tried a long time ago, like 2005, and it did not go well, so I'm excited to <laughs> try it again. And, and okay, what's the biggest wheels you've ever ridden? Oh, probably, um, probably just regular ones, probably like 53, 54 inch, yeah, millimeter, yeah. Yeah, okay, nice, okay, so this, this, this guy, that, that is completely new school right there. Yeah. I, uh, you can't argue with those kind of new school bona fides. Um, <laughs> And then, uh, so let's see, uh, what, what, uh, for you, what is a foundational skate video then? I would say Girl Yeah Right, um, mm, yeah. man, Lakai Fully Flared, I remember when that came out, I think that was like 2007, 2008 time. That totally changed me. Um, man, yeah, right around that time frame, Osiris, Subject to Change, all those. Yeah. yeah, those are the ones that influenced me the most. Awesome. That's great, man. So that's perfect. So you, you are the perfect subject for this old school experiment. <laughs> So, okay, so you, we know you've never ridden a really wide board or really big wheels. What about riser pads? Um, I used to use really thin ones that I used to buy from Fast Forward. Shout out to old Fast, <laughs> Fast Forward, Forward Skate Forward, Shop yeah. in Texas. Um, I used to have the really thin ones, but and then I stopped using those probably 2010, 2011, and I've, I've never used anything thicker or any of those since. Nice. Have you ever bought anything from California Cheapskates? No. All right. Never. <laughs> but it sounds cool. <laughs> so for us, so back in, the, back in the late 80s, early 90s, California cheapskates would, if you got on their mailing list, they would send you a catalog. Okay. And so, you, so for like us, like that would be like our Sears catalog. We would get that and they had like, you know, all the hot new decks. So this is like the original CCS. Yeah. Is what it sounds like. This okay, is, cool. Yeah. This was like before they got sold to the Portland company and yeah, before they, you know, became what they are now. They, you know, you get that and then it'd be like, you know, maybe 20 pages of just, you know, decks, wheels, the whole nine yards. Oh, that's awesome. And then also pictures of, you know, cool riders doing great, you know, awesome things. And, so yeah, we'd always circle, you know, what what do we want to get out of here now? <laughs> yeah. so, give it to your mom, be yeah. like, can you please get this for me, please? <laughs> Never did, but maybe <laughs> I, uh, I So I had a, um, a, a job that worked at Kroger uh, as a cashier back then, and so I saved up for it like ever and got my first complete from there. Oh my God, And I awesome. just remember, you know, because I never got anything in the mail, and then that day, you know, the complete came. It was this giant box sitting on my doorstep. I was like, yes, finally, <laughs> mail call for me. And it's a whole skateboard set up. Oh my God, that's a dream come so. true when you're, when you're, well, it's a dream come true now, but. <laughs> right, exactly. This is an old skater telling a young Sonny how, what was that back in my day? <laughs> we didn't have those fancy skate shops on every corner. And... <laughs> well, I remember when videos went this way and not that way. <laughs> <laughs> We shot in 4-3 and we were happy because that's all we had. <laughs> you kids and your anamorphic widescreens and your, your vertical videos, what's up with that? This is OLED stuff. <laughs> all right, let's get to some skating. Let's do it. Get, 
geezer burial flip daddy, flip duty da. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to get rid of this new school deck. Yeah. We're going to switch it out for this old school Big Daddy. Let's skate. Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's like nothing to put my foot back on. Woo. Oh, 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 my God. Okay, the half cap was not happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh my God. Okay. Harness the power of the geezer. It's going down. Woo! Oh. That was so close! Oh! Okay, that's that doable. Was that's doable. First, that was like 75% first try. That was 75% <laughs> first try. Ah, I feel like I could count that one. I think you can. <laughs> I think so, man. <laughs> okay, that's way different feeling than a regular arm. Yeah! <laughs> All right, my name is Josh. I'm with Geezer Skate. We're here with Eric Coons. What's up? Who has just Skated, went from new school to old school, skating a Pal Peralta. Which which board is this, Nate? This is the Skull and Sword from 1978. That's right. It was the first graphic that Pal Peralta did that was not just their name. It was an actual graphic. The first one, right? Yep. So, Eric, so from going from a new school style, a new school board, no, like you're skating smaller chucks than 55 mil or smaller wheels than 55 millimeter, you're skating an an eight inch board, I think. Yeah. Um, your popsicle style, going to this Goliath uh, behemoth. So tell me, tell me about that. Tell me what is different, what you liked, what you didn't like. I think that, first of all, this was a lot weirder than riding a newer board because there's no concave in the middle and you have a little bit of a tail, which is what I was mentioning earlier. That definitely carried through while skating it because it made it, pretty crazy I think the I think the weirdest part was that I didn't have a nose I think a lot of times when you do a trick like Ollie anything down anything yeah. or you're riding you have that nose to like put this foot on and, and kind of use to balance yourself out for oh, this yeah. one very easy that your foot can just slide off the front That's or what just I was not have it right um, the other thing is the wheels are a lot softer I kind of like that yeah uh, it it lessened the impact. The only thing I don't like is that it's very bouncy. Okay. So like if you're going off like a gap, like, <laughs> you know, like a gap, like the early grab was, yeah. you bounce a little bit, a little bit, and it, it, it like sucks in and then and then pushes you out. So then it kind of pushes me off, but. Interesting. Do you think that has to do with the bushings or the actual wheels? It felt like it was the wheels, but okay. honestly being new to the board, it could have either, it could have right. been either one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow. And probably also that it doesn't have the concave, you're just bending in the middle, I don't know. Yeah, oh, and other big difference was that it was a lot heavier. Oh, <laughs> It yeah. was a lot heavier than a regular yeah. board. This board... He says regular now, board. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> regular board, board to me. <laughs> this board feels like it's maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. That's probably, what, ten pounds? That's probably about ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a, a, a big difference. But now I feel like in the mornings before I go to a skate session, I could probably, like 
skate this for like 20 minutes and then my calves will be just like ready to Completely. go for this oh, yeah. it'd be like wearing like ankle weights or something right <laughs> like, it would help me that's true and also you said that the trucks on this were a lot looser than the ones on yours yeah this one felt a lot looser yeah because yeah. i usually skate i skate pretty tight yeah, okay. so yeah it was a, it was a big difference yeah well you you're very impressive in some of the stuff you could accomplish with this well thank you <laughs> the early grabs some of the uh some of the fakey whatever you were doing over there quarter pipe uh, yeah. shenanigans <laughs> yeah and it, it, that's just crazy it's it's impressive with me or to me that you could do all that stuff i Look appreciate it i appreciate yeah. it it was definitely a learning curve <laughs> yeah well that was awesome eric we really appreciate you helping us out with this video it's been a long time coming so we definitely and i hope this is the first of many collaborations that we do together for so. sure i would yep. be pumped on doing a ton more with you guys it was a blast yeah so check this out you can check out um eric's channel Right over, we'll have a little circle here for Eric's channel. You can go over there, go watch his videos and subscribe to his channel. He's and doing big things. Doing big things. He's, <laughs> he's, going, he's going places, folks. Also, if you want to see the refurbish, like the refurbishing, refurbishment? Of, the, rest, the restoration. The restoration of this Pal Peralta board, you can go over to one of these videos we've linked up here in our end screens and in one of our cards and check this out. Nate's done an awesome job replacing bushings um, what Bear else did you replace? Bearings and new grip tape. Bearings and new grip tape. You can see that in videos right over here. Go watch some more of our videos. None of the videos suck. We gotta cut a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be edited down heavily. Yeah, alright. <laughs>